Hey guys, Rob to the third Bad Pond Trail Outdoors. Today we're going to be talking about the new Lake Master Auto Chart. This new system is probably the easiest one that I've used to make my own maps. Uh, we live in an area where we've got oh, 20 or 30 lakes that really, there's no reason for these companies to map them because they're 100 or 200 acres. This auto chart system allows me to take my small boat out there, run oh, 20 miles an hour or so, scan these lakes, run back to the truck, pop up my laptop, put an SD card in, and convert it right there on the spot. This means that I'm not at the mercy of you know, Lake Master or Navionics anymore. Like I said, I can go and do my own maps, and they're my maps. I've used the other guys' systems, and they're fine. The problem that I have with them is that I'm a tournament guy. I don't want to share my maps. Uh, I like being able to let's go scan those maps and then be just mine. With the other brand, you have to scan the map, send it in, wait 24, 48 hours, all the way out to a week or two weeks. As many of you know, that can be way too long to wait, and we just don't have that kind of time being tournament guys. The auto chart system, like I said, scan it, pop it in your laptop, convert it, and you're done. Boom. Takes maybe 15, 20 minutes um, from start to finish, and that includes actually playing with the software, uh, checking out the side energy mosaic on the Pro, the bottom hardness on the Pro, or just your basic contour lines. Those basic contour lines give you your oh, one foot contour lines, which is way more detailed than you'll get from any of your DNR maps with the old string and rock method. Uh, if you are going to be picking up the system, you'll get your disc and your zero lines chip. The zero lines chip is the one that you're going to put into your unit along with an extra SD card. If you are using the other brand stuff and you've already mapped the others, your, uh, your system or your lakes, simply save those onto your computer, drag and drop them into auto chart, convert it, bam, now you've got those done without the weight. If you're going to scan your lake by yourself, pop that SD card in there. I prefer a 32 gig SD card. That way I'm not at all worried about space. Uh, scan the lake with you know, the intent of hitting every single inch of the lake that you possibly can. You want to make sure that you're twisting back and forth, uh, you know, figure rating, all that kind of good stuff. Make sure you have the most accurate maps possible. Because if you do miss a section, it will be missed on the map itself. With that being said, if you miss a map section, you can go right back and fix it. That is probably the most important thing that I have noticed with this software. So now you've got your lake scanned, you're ready to convert it. Pop that SD card into your laptop or your home computer. From there, all you have to do is uh, import it into the, the auto chart system. You'll see where you've been on the map itself. Hit, uh, there'll be a little white button, you're gonna hit uh, send to your Lake Master card. They'll send it to your auto chart card. Pop in your Hummingbird unit, you're done. I mean, it really is that simple. It's one of those things that you think would be you know, really complex, really complicated, but it's only as complicated as you want to make it. If you want to spend the hours playing with the software, then it can get really complicated. With that being said, the more complex, the more information you have, the better your chances are of catching fish. But I'm Robert Taylor III, Bad Poncho Outdoors. Thanks for watching, guys.